Hello everyone, I'm Sachi. Daytime temperatures in Japan these days are almost as hot as midsummer. But how is everyone doing? In my childhood during May, the weather was a little chilly with spring sunshine, but in recent years, it seems as if summer is coming as soon as winter is over. Where is spring? The other day, I was so focused on shooting a video of the festival that I got terribly sunburned. The back of my neck was bright red. It's the first time in my life that I've gotten sunburned in May that is almost as bad as a midsummer's day. The video I previously released over a two week period was the result of such an effort. I'm proud of myself. I hope you enjoy watching my efforts under the blazing sun. Well, a few days ago, I was invited by a childhood friend to a taco party at the guest house located in a shrine. One of my fellow Marsha committee members entered a competition called Beauty Japan, so this was a celebration. I don't know how long I've been a regular at this guest house, but it's so cozy, isn't it? I'm shy and not a good talker, so I can't really express myself in a gathering of people. I was accepted as a member of the Marsha committee, but I'm still a little nervous about meeting with a large group of people. But the people who gather at the inn are all so friendly and energetic that just looking at them makes me happy. They are such unique people. I never thought that I would be able to create such a community in my hometown after leaving it more than 10 years ago. And all this at a place 200 kilometers away from where I live now. I usually stay at home and work alone, but I think it's nice to enjoy preparing and eating together with friends like this. And this time it was Mexican food in a Japanese style room. A collaboration of Japan and Mexico. I think it's unique and interesting sight to sit down together at Shrine's guest house tasting food from Mexican culture. By the way, the Sinto priest here who has returned from France has an unusual background you normally wouldn't expect from a Sinto priest. He used to teach Japanese in France. He speaks fluent French and English plays guitar, is an excellent cook, and has many hobbies such as tai chi and ballroom dancing. There are many other things, but anyway, he is too impressive in all of them. Such a Sinto priest is quite rare in Japan, don't you think? I think it is not so easy to find a guest house in a shrine itself, and even three goats there. 
I have come to think that goats are cute because I have been coming here often. Just by staying there, you can experience the solemn culture of Japan and receive the warm hospitality of the countryside at Ibigawa Inn. Even if you cannot speak Japanese, the priest will welcome you in fluent French or English. Many people naturally gather here, and of course, the inn is recommended for those who want to study Japanese. Recently, I have been thinking more and more about what family means to me as a result of various events that have changed the circumstance surrounding me at a dizzying pace. Deep conversation and talk with childhood friends and spending time with friends in this way and having fun. Some people come here with their children, others with their families. We live in different places, but when we come here, we are like family to each other. Everyone is smiling and laughing. The videos I shoot at this shrine always end up with everyone laughing and having a lot of fun. I think it is important for people to have a place where they can laugh with others and create laughter. Especially for me, I don't usually interact with people. When I come here and talk with like-minded people, I feel different from when I spend time alone. It is a great change of pace. I feel that the relationship I have with them is more precious than any blood connection I have with them.
Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time I upload videos every Saturday if you enjoyed this. Please consider subscribing. Thank you.